The train is coming. The train is coming. Listen. We're going to catch it. Welcome to Abingdon, Virginia. Yeah, and we want to show you around, standing right here on the street mm -hmm. in front of the Barter Theater. Mm -hmm. Wait to hear the history of that and the Martha Washington Inn to show you some neat places here to come and visit. Yes. There's a lot of history here and we do want to share some of that too. Yes. But thanks for joining us. Let's go check it out. Come along with us. Well, everyone, this is the Love Work Fountain. And it features howling wolves by the artist. And you can throw a penny in here, and we're right on Main Street. I don't have a penny. Do you have a penny, Mom? Ah, don't <laughs> think I do. We just don't carry change these days. But that is some interesting. See the wolves over here. And there's more signage around town. Yes. Oh, did you see the little rabbit there? Mm -hmm. Look at the turtle. Yeah, so this is the Love Work statue that features one howling wolf. You know, visitors come to historic downtown Abingdon for unique uh, shopping and dining. And they also like to walk these beautiful brick sidewalks all along Abingdon's 20 block historic district. And what you find is architecture, spanning two centuries from the tavern, one of Abingdon's oldest buildings to classic small town American storefronts. You also find unique shopping, a thriving farmer's market, art supplies, galleries, and local restaurants proudly proclaiming their farm fresh foods. There's a taste of a craft brew at Wolf Hills Brewing and you can see artists at the Arts Depot and view gracious historic homes on Valley Street. The site of present-day Abington is located at a well-traveled wilderness route called the Great Road, which many pioneers traveled through the Blue Ridge Mountains and settled in the American frontier from 1748 to 1750. It was surveyed by Thomas, Dr. Thomas Walker. The town of Abington was established by an act of the Assembly of Virginia in 1778. Abingdon played a role in helping the young nation gain its independence. In 1860, Martha Washington College opened in a former private residence in Abingdon. The college closed in 1932, but the grand building affectionately known as the Martha reopened as a hotel in 1935. Well, behind us is the famous Barter Theater, Karen. Mm -hmm. It's also that. known as the State Theater of Virginia. Yeah, and it started in 1933, and there was a gentleman who had this idea. What was it? Yes, to let patrons pay with produce Yeah. to enter the theater and watch a show. With its unique history and outstanding productions of comedy, and they have dramas and musicals and new Appalachian plays, it's a must-see attraction. And it's kind of the epicenter of Abingdon's cultural life, music and museums and galleries. During the Great Depression, many actors were literally starving artists, while Appalachian farmers had produce rotting in the fields, unable to sell their goods. So Robert Porterfield, an enterprising young actor, returned to his native southwest Virginia with an extraordinary proposition. 
Local residents could barter produce from the farms and gardens of the region to gain admission to see a play. It opened on June 10, 1933, proclaiming with vegetables you cannot sell, you can buy a good laugh. The price of admission was 40 cents or equivalent amount of produce. The theater went on to become a launching pad for famous alumni like Gregory Peck, Patricia Neal, Hume Crone, Ernest Borgnine, and Kevin Spacey, among others. So that's the Barter Theater. That's a must stop. Um, coming through here, to see the history of it, just to think of people bringing their produce to be able to go into the show. Great idea though, wasn't it? It was. Now we're going to walk the streets here and see what else we can find. Definitely uh, Martha Washington Inn. Yes. Oh, we need to mention, Mike, we've been to a few places at the Barter Theater yeah. over the years. So. And they are great. Very high production. Yes. Just love these old homes as you're walking down the streets, down these red brick streets. Think about this place. It's pretty so interesting, neat. isn't it? Yes. And the history and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. That is really pretty, isn't it? It is. Gorgeous building. So it's the Martha Washington Inn and Spa. Mm hmm And when you walk through the front door, you uh, may actually believe you stepped back into the 19th century with all the fine touches and mm -hmm. tasteful decor. Make you feel as if you're entering an old home. And as a matter of fact, when you walk through the front door, the lobby is what, Karen? It's the living room of a family who used to live here. Yeah. So it was built in uh, 18 and 32 as a private residence. And so beautiful, beautiful place. Mm -hmm. The couple lived here with their nine children. Okay. And the Martha, it was built in 1832 as a residence and um, for General Francis Preston and Sarah Buchanan Preston. And like you said, they're nine children and just has a crazy uh, rich history. Just the stance of it right here is, mm -hmm. is so, so nice. It's so historic and... Um, locals started calling it the Martha. That's why they talk about it. Yeah, they say the Martha. When it was a college and it's continued, the Martha. Yeah. Now, during the Civil War, Karen, Confederate troops used the Martha for a temporary hospital. Yeah, that's neat. And the Martha first opened as a hotel in 1935. It's changed ownership a few times, but they have maintained the historic integrity of the original structure. I said, wow, look at this furniture. Yeah. The veranda is reserved for registered guests. Hmm. For drinks, okay, but not fish. There's the lookout from the front porch. Cans with the nutcracker. Yeah, they've got two guarding the doors. They are, aren't they? <laughs> There's some more of the history there you can see. And it's also on the National Register of Historic Places. So we're getting ready to step into the living room, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it used to be the living room. Hmm. Sorry, we're a little muffled. We had to put on masks. Look at that. It's Martha, a painting of her. Martha Washington. Yep. And who's this down here? George Washington. Yep. I don't know if we mentioned that, but the Martha Washington 
Inn and Spas was originally named after the First Lady. Yeah, the we first probably forgot. Yeah, the First President's Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, there's a menu yeah. to the restaurant here. These old chairs. And here's some um, old pictures. Look at that. So on down the hall, there's this old memorabilia everywhere. Oh, this is from when it was the women's college. Yeah, and over here, look at all this. So much history. My goodness. And there's a gift shop. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's the little shop. Let's see, look at this. I love these staircases. Mm -hmm. That's the, the second one we've seen. Hear the creaking floors <laughs> under the carpet? Listen. Okay. Here's the little shop. I know what we find if we take this carpet up. The creaking floors, love it. And here's a beautiful lobby, look at that. History. Isn't this beautiful? Yes. Oh, and look at the front desk. Wow. Look at this. What do you see? Oh, yeah, the cabinet. I just love that counter. Yeah. Still got the Christmas stuff up here in 2022, don't they? Let's see what's over here. I don't believe the lights are on. This is Edith Wilson Parlor. Oh, wow. Hmm. You know, the fireplaces and look at that clock can. It goes on back into another room here. That's just a beautiful place, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Back on the streets. Well, there's a little tour of the Martha, and we'd love to come back here and spend the night sometime. Oh, yes, that'd be great. Yeah, it would be. And just take in the full experience and maybe go see a play at the barter yeah show but if you're looking for something to do here in virginia it'd be a great place to come that's the martha on we go well we're sorry it's a gloomy day but it is uh 2022 welcome to 2022 everybody yes. we have so many adventures plan for you guys you wouldn't believe it we're mm -hmm. excited about 2022 yes, aren't we we are and thank you for 2021 for coming along on our adventures but um this is where um stone man's raid was and it says captain james wyatt from the history of the 13th regiment tennessee volunteer cavalry in the usa in 1903 died here this is where he died You can read about it. I'll put this right here. Love walking these sidewalks, don't you? Look at this old phone booth. Yeah. Yeah, you can get your information. This looks like a place to eat right over here. Uh, I think it's a Greek 
big food, maybe. It's a uh, hardware. Now is a place to eat, huh? Yeah. I smell barbecue. Bone bar smokehouse. Victoria. Ta-da! <laughs> oh yeah. Creaky, creaky doors. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, what a cool place. Yeah. Look that door is wild. <laughs> yeah, hey. So we decided to have something to eat here at the Bonfire Smokehouse. We've ordered our food. We're getting cornbread fritters on the side. And I ordered the smoked turkey sandwich with baby bakers, which are small little potatoes. And I ordered the um, pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, that's what I got. Some beans and those baby potatoes too, whatever that was. Well, we just had a tragedy. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what it's happened? Not a tragedy. Let's see that. My whole fingernail polish came off. Oh no. But hey, I still have this nail on with the little bling on it. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Fritters are here. Yeah. Look at that. It's interesting looking, isn't it? It is. They're so dark. <laughs> Why don't you try that? Some kind of aioli sauce, probably. Right here. Corn fritter. What is this sauce around it here? I think some kind of aioli sauce. Okay. Mm, I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Well, food's here. Food's here. Let's Here's see what my you get. smoked turkey sandwich. And I've got some sauce potatoes. on the side. These are those baby baker potatoes. Okay. And I got the pulled pork sandwich, some beans, and some of those potatoes. You want to give yours a try? Sure. Give this turkey sandwich a try. Mm, that's good. Is it? How's mm -hmm. those potatoes? Mm, those are good. I'm going to try a potato first. Mmm. Is that good? Mm hmm. That's good. These beans. Mmm. Pretty good. It is pretty good. The Smoky. It's um, He's got a Memphis feel to it. But it's good. Well, we're going to keep eating yep. and let you know. This is neat. they got a live band that plays here some too. It's a little stage here in the old firehouse. And I want to show you guys a sign up here and see if you've ever seen it before. Look at this. I've seen those for funerals, but not sickness. Okay, just finished up there. Yes. Um, you want to share a little bit? Yeah, my, the potatoes were good. We liked the potatoes. I could eat, I ate half of my turkey sandwich, my smoked turkey. It's really heavy on the smoked side, the food is. Um, so, that's my two cents. That's your two? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll give you mine here, just a second. Look at this old sign first. Look at that. W. No, okay. okay, my um, pulled pork sandwich. Very tender, and the bread was the bun was good, but like Ken said, just a little bit too smoky for me. If you like your food really smoky, you'd really enjoy that restaurant. Yes, you would. I mean, would. the atmosphere was cool in there, wasn't it? It was a neat place. Potatoes were good. Beans. Neither one of us liked the no, beans. I don't know what it was. Too vinegary or something. It was very heavy on the vinegar side. But um, I'm not sure I would go back there. I'd probably get something. Probably should have tried ribs. People will watch this and they'll tell me, you got the wrong thing, right? <laughs> right. These old storefronts and now diff different things. And you know what? There's other places to eat here too. Where's that little list you got? Oh. Whip that out. You're going to need some new jeans. you got holes in your jeans. Uh, okay. Places to eat. What is a couple of them? The Grill and the, the, girl and the Raven. White birch, chicken little. That's chicken oh, right little there. right here. Look at that. It says breakfast all day. Sisters American Grill, Luke's Cafe. Now I'm wanting gravy and biscuits. <laughs> yeah. 
the tavern, the pepper mill, and then some other. So there's lots of places to eat here in town. Yes. The train is coming. The train is coming. Listen. We're going to catch it. She's running. She's running. Here it is. It's a Norfolk Western Railroad caboose there. Well, guys, thanks for coming along with us to Abingdon, Virginia. Yeah, beautiful little town here. So historic, which we go to a lot of historic places and we enjoy it. Yep, and like we say, we love these little towns. Nice meal. Mm -hmm. We like some of the, not all of it. But yes. <laughs> plenty of places to see here. So we would say go look up. Abingdon, Virginia online and it tells you everything. There's so much to do around here, not just in town. There's a creeper trail, ride bikes, and yes. hikes and all kinds of things. So much arts here and museums and lots of other restaurants if you don't want to try the one we ate at. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you to our patrons and everybody for all your support. We appreciate you. Yes, and well, again, welcome to 2022, yep. the Friday Forever. Yeah. <laughs> We're glad you're going along on this journey on the next year with us. Yep, and if it's your first time here, I'm Mike. It's my wife, Karen, and we love showing off Smoky Mountains, East Tennessee, Southwest Virginia, Western North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So that's going to do it for this time. So until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.